the one. That's too short a price on her. She's sore going to the post. Hezekato is 12 to one. Can never make it. Temperance Hill is temperamental. Roughing at 10 to summing rather at 10 to one is slightly overlaid, and so is Amber Pass at 23 to one. Noble Nashua at seven to two is the horse to beat. John Henry at seven to two has made a futile trip from the West Coast. I'm sorry to say. Silver Buck is the horse that New Yorkers are saying is going to take it, and believe it or not, I think he has a good chance. Pete Moss is out of it. Our captain Willie at 30 to one. Well, forget about. It. But once around this beautiful racetrack, and here they are loading right in front of us. John Henry goes in, and Marshall Cassidy, you give us the call of the Jockey Club Gold Cup. Frank Pete Moss is about to be loaded into the back of the starting gate. A fine older horse carried 145 pounds two miles earlier in his career when he was a starter handicap horse. And now going in is our captain Willie. This horse won the Lawrence realization on the turf course at a mile and a half proven at the distance. We're all set to go. The flag is up. Just about ready to go. Between horses, Joni's chief on the rail with Hekazato moving up very quickly. Hekazato on the inside gains the lead, but Amber Pass on the outside is right alongside in second. Summing is third, then Noble Nashua, Silverbuck, then John Henry, Joni's chief, and our captain Willie. Then it's Temperance Hill relaxing and a Pete Moss into the clubhouse turn. Hekazato on the rail has the lead by about a neck. Then Amber Pass on the outside, second by a length. Noble Nashua, the one mile record holder, is in third by a length. Length and a half summing on the rail in fourth by a neck. John Henry on the outside with Shoemaker in fifth. Then two back. It is Silver Buck. Then Joni's chief, followed by our captain Willie Temperance Hill, relaxing the mare and Pete Moss. The first quarter in 23 and 4. It is a fast pace as Vasquez sends Hecazado down the back stretch in front by only a head. And now on the outside, Hernandez sends Noble Nashua alongside. Between those two, it's Amber Pass in third, right there in third. Two back is Summing on the inside, and on the outside is John Henry. Hecazado still has the lead by a neck. Amber Pass now second by a head. Noble Nashua has dropped back over inches in third. Summing is now gaining ground to the rail. This is a repeat of the Belmont Stakes. Summing now joining leader as they race down the back stretch. Summing on the rail now takes the lead by a head. Hekazato on the outside second by a half. Amber Pass is third by a length and a half. Noble Nashua back into fourth. And John Henry, Joni's chief and Silver Buck with a mare relaxing. Into the far turn the half in 48 flat. Three quarters, 112 and three. The mile and 36 and three. It is Summing leading the way by about a Hekazato is second on the outside. Amber pass alongside in third by two. Then John Henry Noble Nashua and Silverbuck will relaxing. They're beginning to bunch behind the leader as Summing leads into the stretch by about two lengths. On the outside, it is Silverbuck with John Henry gaining ground gradually on Summing as they hit the top of the stretch. Mile and a quarter in 202 and one a tremendous pace as they hit the stretch. Summing still has the lead by ahead, but Shoemaker now sends John Henry on the outside. John the lead. Summing back into second. Gaining ground on the outside. Silverbuck and the mare relaxing. Relaxing now takes second. Silverbuck is third. And Pete Moss, the long shot, is gaining ground. John Henry, Pete Moss now a race to the bar. John Henry on the inside is Pete Moss. And it's John Henry the mare by a nose. Pete Moss was second. A photo for third between the mare relaxing and Silverbuck in this the eighth race. A most exciting Jockey Club Gold Cup. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Marshall. We're as breathless as you are. That was another fantastic finish and the long shot Pete Moss he scaring it, everybody. He gave it a tremendous try, but Shoemaker really got into him at the John Henry at the end of it, and what a tremendous effort. This horse has only run twice on the dirt this year, John Henry, and that's not his game, supposedly, but look how he does it. And he becomes now the richest thoroughbred in history for earnings. Here's that stretch run. We could look at this 20 times. Well, you could see he was threatening up the backside. Shoemaker had moved him into position A. He got inside of a few horses, outside of the leaders, and here he is going after something. Shoemaker has his stick in his left hand. There he is. He hits John Henry, shows him the stick, since John Henry runs without blinkers, and he puts something away. And sometimes an old pro in a situation like this, he's got his field put away. He may think, well, that's it, Bill. 
And it looked at this moment, as you see John Henry on the lead with his shadow roll, Shoemaker hitting him left-handed. Maybe he figured, well, I've got the job done. I took a quick scan at the field, as you can now. Nobody was threatening. And then all of a sudden, out of the pack, the long shot, the outsider, Frank Lovato pumping and driving with his left hand. And here he comes for the thrilling finish. Pete Moss along the inside. Bill Shoemaker obviously aware at this situation and he gets to ride and just as hard as he can and he's hollering where's the wire and it came oh. in time and John Henry is the winner. All right, Chelsea. I've got Bill Schumacher and John Henry here. Boy, they're both thrilled to death. I think they've won about three Eclipse Awards in a couple of minutes here, Bill. Congratulations. Thanks very much. You're having a great race today. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Congratulations to a pair of champions. What a marvelous. How many of these have you been involved in, these breathtaking finishes like that? Like a whole bunch. That's harder than an old man's heart, I'll tell you for sure. Bill, you switched your six uh, sticks several times to, through the stretch. Uh, did you feel that was what you needed to keep him going? Yes, because uh, I, I made a little mistake today. I got to the front quicker than I should have, and he started loafing on me, so, and he wasn't really responding to the left hand, so I had to switch and hit him right-handed. Uh, you put something away here pretty quick. Yeah, the, the Sunning was on the lead, and I got to the front of him much quicker than I should have, really. And an old pro like that sometimes will think he's yeah, got his job done. That's exactly right. And he threw his ears up and started pulling up and loafing. He thought it was all over. And as soon as he felt that horse coming on the inside, he took off again and had him beat. Huh? In uh, no disrespect, but two old pros, they're tough to beat, Bill. <laughs> Both of them, when you got on the money, said, hey. Right here, you can see his ears up, and he thinks the race is over. He's pulling himself up. Right, he's easing up. Even though I'm hitting him with the whip, he's not really uh, leveling off like he should. So I hit him a few times right hand. He's still not really... Uh, when he really leveled off, was right near the finish when that horse came up on the inside. When he became aware of him. Yes, that's right. Well, Bill, I think the unequivocal be this and three... Gra these are the only three rides you've had on him? That's right, yes. So you're three for three. That's exactly right. Well, you, I, I'm not going to say how many years and how many races and experience you two together, but what a neat pair, Bill, and my congratulations. Thank you very much. Do we have an owner? <laughs> That's right here. We should congratulate them. Congratulations. To Thank you, you very much. Thank congratulations you. Congratulations because you didn't have to come, but you you're came right. and you won it the right way. Right. And we got lucky and... He is a, he's such a master at his craft, that shoemaker. Wow. Well, I bet, Mr. Rubin, Mrs. Rubin, were you scared at the end? No, I knew he'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, I think every sportsman in America is very proud of what you did well, in bringing this horse here. We're proud to own a horse like this. I don't know what we ever did to deserve it. We, I made a phone call, and I locked into something like this. It's lightning in a bottle. Well, oh, you've been a sport fun. ever since. That's what well, you did deserve it. Congratulations. Thank Mr. you very, very much, Frank Wright.